Most people in life are usually flattered by complimentary copycats, but many people are not the least bit flattered by police officers who want to tell everyone they can to shave their head bald and put on a goatee to pretend to be someone they're not. The liars of a community have been moving themselves across a university, and that university chancellor has failed herself in lying to herself about her rights to utilize police officers and local officers to ruin people's lives. Impoverished people are coming up more and more every day, and yet a University of, India, of Illinois has been continuing to build apartment complexes, monstrous buildings 14 stories high with swimming pools on top, and very unsafe windows across their entire building. They did that with Deerdendorf, and that place needs to be reviewed by a military policeman, because what you have are children who have alcohol and pot shops on the street. And then you've got them living in high rises where there's no screen and no safety for them to fall out of a fucking window. They were building that building all through the time when the entire state was on a lockdown and shutdown, which was a violation of state law. And openly I've reported on it several times, but who gets hurt? Me. When a reporter speaks honestly about what's going on in the world, he's telling you the truth. He's saying you've got immoral people doing these things. This morning I'm sleeping some extra hours over by the Starbucks. And the reason that I'm doing that is twofold. I wanted to check to see if they had things that they often do that goes off to people in poverty like me. But at the same time, I was moving over there so that my fellow feathered friends who are goose followers who literally stalk me and hunt me down for my food would have a different place to look for food and grasses in which they could find natural help to their needs. It's true, my family of 12 and family of 30 found me this morning, and I was way away from where I normally am. And then they, of course, can fly, so they can beat me back to where they know I'm going. It's sort of marvelous how they work like the Air Force, but the reality is their gossip networks always sneaks out and tells people about me. I swear to God, they've got a goose that works in, a mother goose that works in the Dollar Tree shop that probably calls them on their goose cell phone and says, hey, he just bought lemon cookies. Go find him. He's going to feed you with those. Because they know that while I'm alone at the moment, and my beautiful wife of the future, and her two char charming, I'm sure, marvelous, I'm sure, boys, M2, cannot get here in time. Tell me, eat them. And what we know about the day and the dew of the day and the heat of the summer sun is that any type of food can go bad quickly. And therefore, it cannot be held on to, it cannot be reproduced, it cannot be done things with. But the liars of a community will play in and out of retail shops and use their technological skills that they probably used in and learned in high school or in dropouts of college to ruin people's computers. I literally have icons on my computer that are constantly being rearranged, constantly being deleted, constantly, and these are images of mine, actually from my lifetime, that I need for my portfolio and constantly being resized. Someone has been changing the way that my computer has its controls. Now maybe that forced um, Windows update that I never asked for, someone did to my computer in the night. I didn't want it. I really didn't want the update. I need a certain level of eyesight in order to see my computer. But these bastards who are 20 year olds who work at different stores think they have rights to do things illegally and immorally on our computer. No one has a right to hack your computer. No one has a right to turn off your cell phone. No person of a security office like Moran or EF Moran Security has the right to interfere with our rights to our social media accounts. Two of my social media accounts were shut off because of sitting, working, and doing my job and trying to earn my job with the federal government. And they shut off my communication source. They shut off my ability to follow what I'm supposed to follow, give feedback on what I'm supposed to give feedback on, and literally provide information that doesn't stop. 